okay so let's start with cs50 2020 week 1 lab 1 problem named population growth in this problem we have to determine how long it takes for a population to reach a particular size so they have given us a background say we have a population of n llamas each year n divided by 3 new llamas are born and n divided by llamas pass away so they have explained what it means it says for example if we were to start with n is equals to 1200 llamas then in the first year 1200 divided by 3 is equals to 400 new llamas would be born and 1200 divided by 4 which is 300 llamas would pass away at the at the end of that year we would have 1200 which is the llamas we have at the start plus 400 which the new llamas are born minus 300 which the llamas who died this year which results in 1300 llamas okay let's start with this problem they have actually given us the implement deta implementation details for this problem first of all your program should first prompt the user for a starting population size okay if the user enters a number less than 9 the minimum allowed population size okay so now we know that the minimum allowed population size is 9 the user should be re-prompted okay if we enter a number less than 9 we should re-prompt user to enter number again until they enter a number which is greater than or equal to 9 okay let's start with this problem let's just copy this okay, let me make a new file call populations dot c let me paste which i copied earlier okay so that's pretty handy they already have written this code so now we first have to prompt for the start start, start size first initialize couple of integers i'm going to initialize an integer called n and m now the first line is says your program should first prompt the user for a starting population size we can use a do while loop over here let me show you how do n is equals to get int cause n is integer which we have implemented over here okay just need to see what the okay, start size okay start size semicolon at the end now comes the condition the our condition is the number should not be less than 9 it can be equals to 9 but not less than 9 so we can type n less than 9 and of course semicolon at the end let us try to compile this program make populations okay it compiles let us run this program make populations so now if we enter a star start size less than 9 it should reprompt us like if we enter press here it is it reprompt us now if we enter 9 it should not reprompt us and should enter the should complete the program okay there it is now we need to prompt the user for the end size let me just clear this up control x Control V. Okay. Prompt the user for end size. We can. Okay. Let's see. 
your program then should then reprompt the user for an ending population size. If the user enter a number less than starting population size, which is n, the user should be reprompted to enter an empty uh, an ending population size until they enter a number which is greater than or equal to starting population size so we can implement another do while loop here let me show you how do let us ask for an input from the user m is equals to get int because it's an integer m is an integer end size and semicolon at the end now we have to implement the condition while so the condition is pretty simple actually it says if the user enters a number less than the starting population size, the user should be reprompted to enter an ending population size until they enter a number that is greater than or equal to the starting population size. Okay. Our ending population size is called M. So we can write while M is less than N. It simply means just reprompt the user again and again if we enter the value of m which is less than n which the condition says okay which they have asked in the problem sorry over here so now let us compile this code again see if it works make population okay it compiles good now when we run this program if we enter 5 it should reprompt us okay if we enter 9 it's fine now if we enter the end size less than the start size it should reprompt us again now if we enter 8 it should reprompt us okay good now if we enter 9 or greater it should then complete the program now if we enter 9 and voila it just completes the program okay okay so now we have to calculate number of years until we reach the threshold so we can use for loop for this let's start with implementing for loop for uh, let me initialize an integer called y over here so we won't have to do in the for loop y for years okay so for y equals zero n which is the starting which is the starting size is less than m which is the ending size we have to put semicolon and we have to put implementation y plus plus incrementation sorry So now we can apply formula in here. Okay, we know that uh, every year 1200 divided by 3, meaning n divided by 3 new llamas are born. Okay, let me initialize a new integer called b for born. Okay, b equals let me put a space over here b equals n divided by 3 okay now we also know that n divided by 4 llamas would pass away each month so we can initialize another integer called d you can initialize any integer you want but for my convenience i am implementing d for that okay d equals n divided by 4 okay now the formula is n plus 
400 which is the newborn lamas minus 300 which is the lamas which die okay so we can implement it here using this n equals n plus b which are for newborn lamas minus d which are the lamas who died as per uh, as per which is given to us over here so this is our formula make sure to put us in semicolon okay now we have to print number of years okay which is easy print f years let's see what is the correct word they used years okay we have to use here space now we have to put uh, percentage i for integer placeholder for integer you guys know that hmm. let's put this first then this i think then put y over here and semicolon okay now let's try compiling this code make operation wow okay it's a pretty common mistake we need to put semicolon at the end okay let's try compiling now make publish oh it's compiled wow okay that's good if we put the start size 1200 and end size 300 it should give us one year one year okay we need to so that it moves to the next line over here okay let me control l let me try running it oh let me try let me try compiling it again first make populations okay it compiles 1200 and size 1300 here's one okay so now to test our code we need to try okay we have tried this one let's try this one population start size minus 5 it should prompt again okay three it should prompt again okay now nine okay perfect and size is 18 and advances is eight years which is correct okay, let's do this one start size 100 and size i don't know how this is let's just copy it 115 years which is correct okay so guys this is how you write your problem set lab one population code if you like this video please like and subscribe and let me know in the comment if you guys want to see more solutions thank you